when is divorce right? I can't answer that. Sometimes, you know, like lawyers love the answer. It depends, right? That's a very lawyerly answer. That, But frankly, there are plenty of marriages that I'm sure were on the brink of divorce and would have been successful divorces that people could have gone their separate ways, but yet they continue to push through whatever difficulties they had. They got past it. And then they stayed happily married for years to come until death do they part. And then there are, I'm sure, others that were they should have been divorced 10 years ago and somehow they're still together. And there's been all sorts of pain, suffering, and maybe even financial loss as a result of any and all of that. And they're finally just getting around to it now. I don't know when it's necessary. What I do know is the adage that we oftentimes find ourselves recognizing is the phenomenon behind nothing's going right go left. And we use this what sometimes just in the practice of law relative to if we're trying to cooperate in a friendly fashion and it's just not working with the opposing party or the opposing counsel. All right, well then we're not going to do that anymore. Like that's not being effective. We're going to do something else. But sometimes people are in their day-to-day -day lives trying to make their marriage work and they're coming across the same problems over and over again. And it's never improving and there's never, whether it's just sort of dealing with geography, difference of beliefs, personality, addictions, parenting discord, who knows, but try to do the same thing over and over again and hoping for different results, that's never going to work. So sometimes if nothing's going right, you got to go left. And a lot of times people that are coming to see me and they are interested in hiring the law firm and proceeding with the divorce, this is the story they tell is that at some point they decided to stop, that enough was enough, that perhaps husband's alcohol issue was a continued issue, and she finally said, you know, all right, you've stopped now, and so long as you stop, we're going to work this out, but if this happens again, we're finally done. And lo and behold, she comes and she's meeting with me. That was a story from a few years ago, where sometimes it's the other way around in regards to some issue relative to the spouse, and it's a husband that comes to me regarding his wife. It doesn't matter in regards to the whether it's necessarily alcohol or whatever it is, all that matters in the state of Minnesota is that one party is attesting to the fact that there's an irretrievable breakdown and it's based on their sworn word and it's not really subject to cross-examination where it's like they've got to prove that it's irreconcilable. The judge just takes their word for it. Even if the other side wants, to, you know, is really sorry for the behavior, wants to change, in some instances it's a little too late for that. And at this point, the other party, the petitioner for the divorce is moving forward. So I don't know why it's necessary or whenever it's necessary. I just know oftentimes people encounter that. And that's a really valuable sort of axiom, this whole idea of when nothing's going right, go left. I mean, it's a cute play on words, but then it also reminds us to analyze some of our results of our efforts and to make sure that we're not making the same mistakes over and over again. Even if it's ourselves individually, we're not even talking about relationships. Just want to make sure that like our efforts are being rewarded with development, progress, change, you know, to the extent that we're asserting ourselves, you always want to make sure that that change is there. And otherwise, if it turns out that it's not, you want to do something differently. So if that's inspirational or insightful for you, great. My name's Matt. I've been a divorce attorney for nearly 20 years. If you appreciate this, please like, follow, comment below. Thanks.